Hello everyone, today I will be doing an unboxing video for the brand new DJI Matrice 4T. DJI provided us here at HDRT with this demo unit. If you are looking to buy one, please send us an email or give us a call. You can also take a look at our website for any other questions you might have. Now that I have the drone casing out of the cardboard box, I can tell you that it's a lot heavier than it might look. It is a very nice case, very similar to the other Matrice cases, closer in size to the Mavic 3 and Mavic 2 cases. Personally, I like the new design. You can see how similar it is, especially on the sides to the Matrice 300 and 350 cases. Like I said, it is heavier than it looks, but that's good. It means it's very strong. Now let me open the case for you so you can see everything on the inside. I know that's what you're here for. Firstly, there's this booklet I'm showing you on the left. It's basically just a small guide as well as a couple stickers. I'm not going to showcase that now. I'll just have it on the side. Now we have the brand new DJI RC Plus 2 controller, very similar to the original DJI RC Plus. It's just a lighter grey finish and there's small changes to the actual casing, mainly just on the top for the different ports. It feels very nice. I personally like the new lighter grey finish. Now we have the drone itself. drone itself is also heavier than it might look mainly it might be just the battery and the camera you'll see how big the camera is once I have it out it comes with a built-in RTK on the top there it looks very similar to a Mavic 3 with the actual body except it's a lighter gray even though this is a Matrice and not a Mavic Same type of fold out legs. Now you can see the brand new camera with six different lenses. I'll talk about those later in the video. It's a very big camera you can see. You also have the ports on the top there, similar to the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Let me get to everything else in the box now. I'm going to make some space after I just show you the camera one more time. First here's the battery. You can see it's very similar to Mavic 3 again, except the ports where the battery makes contact to the drone is a lot closer to the back, which from my perspective as a technician, that's very good news. It makes it easier to do repairs. So if you have any problems, Hopefully we can get it sorted for you quicker. Now let me show you what else there is. Firstly is the charging hub. This is you can this is so you can plug in four batteries at once for charging. It only charges one at a time, but you don't have to do any management because it will swap over this in the next one. Here we have the charging brick, that's where you get the power from. You plug that straight into the charging hub with the cables that I will show you later. At first I didn't know what this part was, but now I know it's a tool that's actually used to take off that flap on the top of the Matrice drone. That small latch with the DJI logo on it, you can put a dongle in there for internet access. Now we have a strap. This is supposed to go on your case so you can uh, carry it over your shoulder if you don't want to just use the handle. I'm trying to give you a good view of everything on the inside here. Now we have a lot of cables for you. Firstly, this is a power cable. This will plug into the power brick with the South African standard two-point plug. It 
Next we have the first USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable that you'll use to connect the charging brick to the charging hub so that you can use it to charge all your batteries. Now we have another power cable with the standard South African two-point plug. And this is a normal USB type A to USB type C uh, cable that you can use to connect your controller to your drone maybe or your controller to a computer if you have to do updates. Now we have a couple different um, charging cables. These could use uh, different countries standard outlets. And the drone comes with quite a few propellers. Once I have them all out, I'll put them on the drone so you can see how it looks once it's fully set up. While I'm busy taking them all out the box, I will quickly tell you about the camera on the drone. It has six lenses as you saw there. The two on the bottom were both shiny and reflective. The one that was on the left is a laser rangefinder, and the one that was on the right is a spotlight that will illuminate up to 100 meters in front of the drone. And then in the middle row, on the left, there is the long-range telescopic lens uh, with a, let me see my notes, a 168mm camera. And then the one on the right is the wide-angle camera. And then the top row of the, of the lenses on the drone is for... The top left is the thermal camera, and then the top right is the medium telescopic camera, which has 70 millimeters of lens. You can take note the drone also has uh, vision sensors, 360 degrees all the way around the drone. So if you're flying at a moderate speed, you will not be crashing into anything. Now that I have all four of the propellers on, you can see the nice uh, setup of the full drone. They do, the propellers do look similar to the Mavic 3 propellers. They are slightly bigger, I notice, but they do look similar. I would not say that they are compatible with one another. There you have a nice display of everything in the box. I'm just turning the drone on. This is the first time we're booting it up. You can see it's got the same boot process as the other Mavic 3 drones and the other Matrice drones. And now I'm just showing you the stability of the camera there. This isn't a full test. We will do some flight tests later. For now, this is just a bench test to show you how good the, and stable the gimbal is. Thank you for watching our unboxing video. Like I said earlier, you can take a look at our website or you can send us an email or give us a phone call if you already have our details.